Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can automatically apply 2D T-Rex. So traditionally, the way to do this is to select your unstructured domain, go to the grid solver, and from the T-Rex tab, you'd specify how many layers you want and your growth rate, and then the boundary condition tab is where you would spend the bulk of your time assigning specific boundary conditions to connectors, and then you would go ahead and refine the domain. Well, with the apply T-Rex command, all we need to do is simply select connectors and apply 2D T-Rex. The only prerequisite is that the unstructured domains already have T-Rex attributes assigned, basically the number of layers that you want and the growth rate. With domains already created, it's pretty easy to assign this. You simply select all of your domains, go into the grid solver and assign these attributes. But if you haven't created anything yet, if you go over to the defaults panel, and expand unstructured domains and blocks and go down to T-Rex. You can specify the number of layers and growth rate here as well, such that any unstructured domains you create will inherit these attributes. The only other parameter you'll change is the wall delta S value, and this is the value that will be used when growing away from a particular boundary. So let's go ahead and apply T-Rex in this case. I'm gonna select the leading and trailing edge connectors for my main wing, my horizontal stabilizer, and my vertical stabilizer. And from the toolbar, I can either select Apply T-Rex here, I can go to the grid menu and apply T-Rex, and I can also use the hotkey Control shift e So let's go ahead and apply T-Rex. If I zoom into the main wing, you can see that anisotropic stretching has been applied at the boundaries that I had selected, the leading edge and trailing edge. So here's before and here's after applying T-Rex. We can zoom to the tail, the horizontal and vertical stabilizer, same story. And if I rotate this around, you can see that even with the structured domain back there, we have anisotropic growth away from that boundary. The way this feature works is it essentially assigns the appropriate T-Rex boundary condition to the connectors that have been selected and then refines the domains. So if a connector is only used by unstructured domains, it will assign the wall type boundary condition and use the wall delta S value from the defaults panel as the initial spacing. If the connectors are being used by a structure domain, it will assign the adjacent grid boundary condition and then refine the domain. And that's how you can apply 2D T-Rex in PointWise automatically by simply selecting connectors. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.